So welcome back, second video for today. The first video is about this, the DSO-188 from Daniu or FRFE something something. And I have to modify it, I cannot keep it like this. It's nice, it has a nice size, very nice, but it has no protection for the screen. This is directly at the screen, I should not touch it, I'm stupid. And I thought I will modify it. First thing was, or first idea was, I have tons of this, no, about 30. Um, it comes from the Nintendo DS, the upper screen, and I got about 30 of this for five bucks a while ago. Broke, all of them were broken. I could put about five together, you see it in another video, but it has the screen protector. And luckily, the width of the screen protector is the same than the width of the this PCB. So, Yes, I just cut it out and I could replace the original with this clear so it will protect the screen but then I thought hey I have a 3d printer why I don't make a case for it yeah after about five printouts there's another one and trying out I come with this I'm proud of the rounded edges here a 3D printed case for the DSO-188. And by the way, you will find the files to download at thinkyworse.com. Oh, sounds like advertisement. And buy this at Banggood, please. Um, please buy it, please. And download the files, print it out. By the way, I printed it out with my cheap Chinese CTC i3. I buy a while ago for 100 bucks. It is heavily modified with an auto, auto, auto bed sensor but it works. Um, wait, I have a picture on the phone. I just make a picture for you. Oh, this is Sophia, my little Android. Recognize my face, come on. Da, 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 da. Then I print, there it comes. Um, here, my 3D printer. Yes, it tests and uh, it looks funny. And I removed the display. It's better there. It's a little bit messy. It's cheap, but it works. And oh, this is the case I designed with Cinema 4D. Hmm, yes, I know it's animation software and 3D visualization software, not for building things, but it works. So I come out with this case, two halves with cutouts for the switches like this. The holes is not in the 3D design. I drill it later in just using the PCBS sample. It was easier. And I this I already cut out here. So what's to do? It's very straightforward, very easy. When I find a screwdriver, do it together with you. Of course I do it before. Just remove the screws from the front like this. Number one. Number two, number three, number four. By the way, this is conductive, this has metal layer. So I was thinking to put on some copper tape, but it's not high frequency stuff, so it doesn't matter. Then in the front part, um, I printed it with 0.1 millimeter, cleaning it up a little bit. <laughs> Remove the dust, it's good enough. <laughs> Do the same here, cleaning it. Then it comes in like this. <laughs> Using the original screws. Uh, by the way, it's print with um, PLA material at 0.1 layer height. So, my printer isn't bad. It's cheap, but it works. Uh, maybe I should just uh, focus on there so it doesn't focus. And maybe can go in a little bit. Yes. Now you can see my hand. Da -da -da. Uh, 
and the last one yeah this has already scratches so some of the materials or some of this is not the best but it's okay let's switch it on if it is still switch on um because i make the walls only two layer thick so 0 0.8 millimeters um you can still use the switches and the buttons i don't need to do some more print prints or more stuff it's you see it just fit well here also fits well and going to the back side um, i keep the pcbs inside for stability because it's the plastic i print out is really thin and But it will give the whole thing a much... The camera is still focusing on my hand. Oh, good that it has fast focus. <clears throat> so, this goes in there. You see it really tight fit. Then it goes over this. And it's only 0 0.8 millimeters thick. So usually it should fit with the original screw. Okay. I know this because in the front page, front panel, it's a little bit thinner, the PCB, than in the back. So I already prepared four longer screws for it. Yeah, mistakes happen. I was hoping that it still fit. Should try it first. No. You can try it with you together. Mistakes are okay. One. Um have a look at the screw. This two. Three. Number four. So have a look on it. it looks quite nice. Or what do you think? Uh, this I can make a little bit smaller in this one, but after the sixth or seventh printout, I don't want it anymore. I just want to finish it. So power it on one time. Yeah. F and RSI. Yeah, that's all. More, it's not more. It's very easy to modify and, <clears throat> and to drop. And I think, uh, there I need to. More pressure, yes. Um, I think with this case, it looks much better than before. I'm not sure if I should print it or paint it. Um, I could, but it comes out very nicely, very small. Maybe I attach a key ring to it, so it's like a daily carriage without the leads, but doesn't matter. This is the DSO-188 in a self-printed 3D printed case. Hope you like it and you can download the STL files on Thinkiverse. And you find the links to buy the parts or the stuff also in the description of this video and thanks for watching see you next time bye bye